Hi guys! Welcome to Julius Babaw Unplugged. Ako, nag-tempan niyo ako habang nag-aayos ako ng mga sneakers ko. Kasi papasok ko siya doon sa shoe area ko mamaya. Pag naayos ko na, para masetup ko siya ng maganda. So before I put them inside the showroom, I wanna show you itong aking mga collection ng mga off-white Nike sneakers. Yan, nandiyan yung The 10 and other new off-white uh, series. Oh, 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 Julius Babao Unplugged. Julius Babao. Julius. Julius Babao Unplugged. Oh, 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 Julius Babao Unplugged. Na challenge ako nung una ko nakita itong The 10 ni Virgil Abloh kasi very uh, unique yung design ng kanyang mga sneakers. Saka very artsy uh, and uh, very bold yung concept. And at the same time, very minimal. Medyo may pagka-futuristic yung design ng kanyang mga sneakers. So na-challenge ako na i-collect itong mga sneakers na ito. And in a span of 3 months, I was able to collect the 10. Uh, hindi ko talaga nire-regret na ibilihin itong mga off-white na ito kasi these, I believe, are art pieces. Eh. Uh, these are collectibles and hopefully I'm able to take care of them para hindi siya masira through the years kasi alam naman natin ng sneakers, hindi ang katulad ng art na matagal ang lifespan. Uh, it will take many, many years bago masira pero ang sneakers uh, supposedly by mga 10 years uh, medyo nagdi-deteriorate na siya kung hindi siya naaalagaan ng maayos. Kaya hopefully, itong mga sneakers na ito ay uh, tumagal pa sa atin. Uh, ito yung uh, uh, Zoomfly. Medyo maliit ang size nito compared to sa iba kong mga sneakers. But since I needed to uh, compete yung uh, The 10 ni Virgil Abloh, kinagat ko na rin. Uh, one half smaller to sa baha ko. Actually, to be honest, I haven't used this at all. This is part of the Ghost series. Kaya naging revolutionary yung release nito because he used uh, the color white and uh, very uh, minimal use of other colors dun sa karamihan ng kanyang mga sneakers. Kaya ghost ang uh, tinawag niya ron. And then this is the Air Max 97. Ayan. Nike Air Max 97. And uh, this actually fits me well. Um... Also slightly used when I got it from uh, Cup Garden. Just like the Zoomfly, Virgil also used uh, translucent materials for the sneakers. Um, basically, ang uh, kanyang kulay na ginamit is white, uh, dirty white, and uh, black. Para dun sa kanyang swoosh. And the uh, air logo on the back of the sneakers. Plus uh, translucent uh, midsole. And, and of course, the text. Hindi mawala yan dito sa uh, inner side ng uh, sneakers. Ito naman ang Air Max 90. Also, uh, white then uh, Using translucent materials. Uh, uh, may suede din na material dito. May leather. Uh, tapos meron din siyang text on the side. Na para, tapos ang interesting pa dito sa design niya, parang may electrical tape na nakatikit dito sa bandang side na to. Uh, medyo interesting din siya, no? And uh, of course, it wouldn't be an off-white without the zip tie and the uh, uh, laces with the texts, the shoelaces. And this is the Nike blazer. Uh, same color, uh, uh, beige, white, and uh, gray. Ah, medyo loud lang sa kanya talaga yung kanya mga laces. Uh, pwede pwede mong palit-palitan yung mga laces niyan. Iba-ibang color yan. And this is the Chuck. One of my uh, favorites doon sa collection na to. This is the Chuck Taylor. It's translucent. But the silhouette is an exact copy of the canvas version. Ang difference lang are the materials that he used for the sneakers. Which uh, he used mga translucent nga to give it that ghost effect na transparent na kaunti yung uh, uh, socks mo sa loob ng, uh, ng shoes when you're wearing it. Tapos yung kanya midsole is also uh, translucent. Yun. It's kinda expensive. I got this from Cup Garden. I haven't used this. Ayan, pero pang logo ng Cup Garden dito. And I got it for 50,000 pesos guys. No? Ayan. Size 11. 
What's nice about these sneakers is may mga naka-indicate na mga text on the midsole na vulcanized. Uh, medyo uh, tongue-in-cheek ang kanyang statement dito. Uh, pareho rin nung uh, sa front ng sneakers, you have the left and you have the right. Nakasulat dyan. So, stating again, what's the obvious? Ito naman guys is the Hyper Dunk. Uh, kakaiba rin siya, no? medyo futuristic siya as compared to the uh, Chucks. Uh, mas uh, edgy yung kanyang design, mas modern. Uh, kakaiba siya. It kind of reminds me of the Air Mag. It has laces, pero meron siyang strap dito. Na parang more of a aesthetic store, no? But I'm sure it has its use na para mas fit yung, yung paa mo dun sa stickers when you're using it. But I haven't really used it at all, no? Uh, iba yung material na ginamit niya rito. He used uh, parang kakaibang uh, nylon fabric dito sa loob combined with an overlap ng uh, uh, rubbery uh, material. And at the back, nylon. May translucent uh, detail pa rito sa bandang bandang ankle and uh, ayan plus uh, very artsy yung kanyang uh, midsole see and there's a foam written on the midsole plus you have the swoosh there with a the tag na orange um, very artsy no itong uh, sneakers na ito as compared to the other sneakers uh, tapos again also part of the ghost series kaya mostly white yung kanyang color and my favorite, this is the Air Force One. Medyo hard to find though. As you can see, it still has its tag because I haven't really used it yet. Dying to use it someday, but not now with the quarantine. <laughs> Wala, hindi natin magagamit to. But uh, it's also uh, part of the Ghost series, kaya tinan mo, uh, very translucent yung mga materials. Uh, you have the text on the uh, midfoot. And uh, medyo translucent yung ginamit niyang uh, swoosh dito. Kaya nakikita mo pa rin yung text na naka -over, kahit naka-overlap na yung, uh, no, yung swoosh. And at the back, some labeling there. I don't know what it is, pero may mga numbers and may mga texts. Ayun. And uh, of course, the air is written on the midsole. And I also was able to complete the series ng uh, Jordan 1. Uh, itong Jordan 1 ito, I haven't used this. This is the most expensive among all the collection ng uh, off-white Nikes na the 10. Huwag uh, na natin pag-usapan ng price kasi medyo mataas talaga guys. No? But uh, ito yung talagang dini-construct ni uh, Virgil Abloh na, ano, na design. Plus syempre, among all the Nike silhouettes, ang Jordan 1 talaga ang pinakasikat. Uh, kasi ito yung isa sa mga unang sneakers nga ni uh, Michael Jordan Aside from uh, the Jordan 1 being a classic And uh, he also retained yung uh, Chicago color Naging interesting pa siya kasi diniconstruct niya yung, ano, yung design ng uh, sneakers Ito makikita mo naka imprint dyan yung mga texts Nakalagay dyan off-white Jordan 1 Beaverton uh, 1985 kung kailan siya na-release Plus he used... Uh, different kinds of uh, material dun sa sneakers tapos yung kanyang swoosh is you know uh, parang it is stitch lang siya dun sa midfoot ng uh, sneakers plus uh, you have the uh, zip tie there this is parang unfinished niretain naman niya yung pinaka silhouette nitong uh, Jordan 1 a lot of people are excited kasi expected na lumabas uh, maybe this year itong canary yellow there's so much buzz in the internet about this new off-white Nike Jordan 1. Uh, well, it's uh, pretty interesting, no? Yung uh, color na ginamit niya, medyo loud siya. <laughs> Very attractive. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys like it? Uh, kasi ako, for collection purposes, since nasimulan ko na to, mukhang kailangan kong kunin itong uh, Canary Yellow. The, ano, the European uh, exclusive, the Jordan 1, European, the only difference is the color, no? Uh, same uh, silhouette, same uh, materials, but uh, the color is different. And di ko pala na-mention kanina, may yung overlap niya rito nakalagay dyan, 85, dun sa may ankle support. And the UNC, uh, Jordan 1 UNC, same silhouette, same material used, 
Uh, the only difference is the color, which is predominantly blue and white. Yes. Plus, one of my uh, favorites then, sa uh, Off-White Nike uh, series na ito, which is the Presto. Hinayang na hinaya akong gamitin to. I've only used this once. Parang ayoko na ulit gamitin kasi nakakapakinayang last pa din. Uh, Nag-stand out talaga yung kanyang design compared to the others na mostly monochromatic and uh, very uh, light yung uh, color. But this is uh, uh, black, kaya a combination of black and white. Kaya nag-stand out talaga siya. Plus you have the zip tie there, the colored red. Tapos, uh, very comfortable siya when you wear it. Uh, among all the Nike Off-White uh, series na the 10, this is the one that I will use most often than any of them. No? Kasi nga, uh, very comfortable siya sa paa. And last but not the least, you have the Vapor Max. Yeah. Vapor Max. Uh, dalawa lang sila. Itong si Presto na colored black. Uh, but uh, this is all black and the, uh, even the midsole is black uh, except for the swoosh which is white and the labeling na uh, air and sa other side ganun din but to be honest uh, hindi ako masyadong comfortable dito sa sneakers na ito para kang naka uh, heels <laughs> ang taas ng takong niya medyo gumagalaw ka lang pag naglalakad ako uh, hindi ako masyadong comfortable using this but uh, I still like it because it's part of the 10 no? So, uh, for collection purposes, okay na rin. Uh, bilangin natin, ha? Huh? Itong uh, the 10 na ito. This is one. Uh -huh. This is the Hyper Dunk. That's number one. The Air Force One, number two. Uh, Zoom Fly, number three. Air Max 97, number four. Air Max 90, number five. Uh, Blazer, number six. Chucks. Number 7 Ito uh, Jordan 1 Number 8 Chicago Presto Number 9 And the Vapor Max is Number 10 So yan, kumpletohon natin ang The 10 ni uh, Virgil Abloh And aside from the 10 I also have here Itong uh, Air Max 90 Na Desert Sage and I also have the MCA, which I also got from uh, Cop Garden, uh, which is uh, not cheap at all. But uh, it's also a favorite of mine because it stands out among the collection because of its color. Very unique. Parang di pa nakakagawa si Virgil Abloh ng, ng ganyang klaseng medyo distinct yung uh, color. Because we're used to seeing his designs na very monochromatic. Um, uh, on the safe side, always. Uh, either beige, white, or black. Pero this time, powder blue yung uh, color nitong uh, uh, pinili niya for the MCA exclusive. Although I don't have the other uh, exclusive museum series, pero uh, hindi ko naman masyadong type yun. Ito, ito lang talaga ang type ko among the three, no? Itong uh, blue na ito. And of course, I have the Air Force One Vault. And I also have a white version of the Vapor Max. Ito. And a white version, all white version of the Presto. White. Ito naman yung mga dunks ng Nike Off White. This is the Pine Green. Ayan. And the Michigan. And the University Red. And the latest release, which is the Jordan 5 Gray. Ito, na-review na natin to in the past. Uh, pero may lalabas na bagong version ito, which is colored the beige, which is also beautiful. Kaya uh, kung lalabas yun, hindi natin palalampasin yan. That's it guys. Ito yung ating uh, mga stickers na the 10 na uh, papasok na natin dun sa loob ng showroom. And uh, I hope I'm able to uh, contribute some information to you guys sa inyong pagkukonek. Eventually, this will all come to pass. And uh, babalik na naman tayo doon sa days na nakakaikot tayo sa iba't ibang mga sneaker shops. And nakaka-interview pa rin tayo ng mga sneaker heads, mga collectors. And uh, we're able to feature yung iba't ibang mga bagong labas ng mga sneakers. 
But uh, siguro now is not the time, no? Uh, talagang uh, ano, uh, mag-social distancing muna tayo, mag-physical distancing tayo until uh, everything normalizes and uh, we're able to flatten the curve para lahat tayo ay safe from the coronavirus. So, make the most of your time, guys. Pag nasa bahay lang kayo, linis-linis tayo ng ating mga sneakers and ayusin natin para nalilibang tayo habang nag tayo ng go signal na tayo ay magbalik uli sa ating mga work and sa ating mga schools, no? sa mga students out there. So, thank you for joining me today, guys, and uh, have a good one and uh, take care of yourselves. No? Stay at home. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and post your comments below. And always hit the notification bell. Bye!